hello in this video i'll show you how to create a list uh, in x plus plus programming language so let's start so in this uh, uh, screen you can see that i have a class which is a runnable class i have created and you can see there is a main method is available so if you want to create a list then you have to specify the list uh, here and after that you have to give the name and uh, you have to specify new keyword and after that you have to specify uh, the type of the list that is if you are creating a uh, integer type of list then the all the element should be integer inside the list and if you want to create a, a string type of uh, list then you have to specify the type of that um, list so here in this case there is a string and uh, i will use the list iterator so that is why i am just creating one variable that is l iterator and if you want to uh, add a item inside a particular list in case of uh, if i want to add in my uh, in my list integer then you have to specify my list dot add uh, start so it will um, add the element in your uh, starting position of the list again uh, you can also add at the end so that is how you can add the element in the list here you can see also i am i am just adding add start three i am also adding at end add end it will add the se seventh element uh, sorry it is it will add the seven uh, in the end of the list in the same way i'm just also adding in the list a string so how i'm just adding add second first third and fourth like this so now it's time to um, loop through the list of so how we can do that So if you want to iterate over the list, you have to convert uh, your list in a list iterator like this. So you have to specify, you have to give the name that I, we already initialized in previous code. And after that, you have to give the list iterator and then you have to give here the name of the uh, list. After that, you can use uh, the while inside the while you have to give the name of the list iterator and you can specify the more so uh, this uh, more will uh, whenever uh, it will uh, iterate over through all the items so uh, if you'll uh, call iterate dot value then each time you will get the uh, item inside the list so that's uh, how we are uh, giving a condition that and if the value is available then it is also checking if in condition that if the value will be third this is the third element in our list so if it will be the third then we are just deleting so here we are inserting also we are deleting so if we want to delete the third element that is why you are just a list iterator dot delete so when you will reach in the third element it will delete, delete the third element and it will show third element deleted from the list and other than the third uh, uh, third element it will show each and every element uh, how it, you have to specify iterator value and next you have to specify the iterator list iterator dot next it means it will go to the next element and it will continue like this and if you'll not get any value or if the list will be empty then it will go to this uh, else statement and it will break from this while loop so if you'll compile and run uh, this program in your system so you will get uh, this type of result so first it will uh, print the first then second 
and when it will reach the third element it will be uh, it will delete the element and uh, this statement will be shown that third item deleted from the list and it will go to that next element and we are just pre also printing uh, from the while loop uh, that is why the fourth also showing here so this way you can actually add element delete element uh, and also you can loop through or traverse the element using the list iterator. rotor so i hope this is clear if you have any question you can ask it in the comment section i'll try to uh, respond